So we are going to talk about field theory and very specifically gravitational fields. Now a field is used to describe how a non-contact force works. So of course you would have heard of the apple story and so when the apple fell from the tree, Newton asked the question, how did the apple fall to the ground without any contact force? And so it, it so happens that we are talking about gravitational fields. So first of all, mass is what creates gravitational field. And so if I have a mass over here, then there is a region of space around this mass where other masses can experience this gravitational force. And that is because there is a field around this mass. Now, it turns out that gravitational fields are always attractive. And so we can represent these fields with something called field lines. And for a gravitational field, it will always point radially inwards towards the mass, like so. There you go. Right? And this is because gravitational fields are always attractive. And so if I put another mass over here, it will simply follow the direction of this field line. And so you'll see it just move straight towards this larger mass. Very simple concept, very simple concept. So some key points to understand about field lines. Okay, this will apply to all your fields in the future, but let's just focus on gravitational fields first. Okay, number one, of course, they, like we already said, they must point radially inwards towards a mass. Number two, the density of the lines is indicative of how strong the lines are, or rather the field is. And so if you look at this portion here, maybe, you'll see that the lines are much closer to each other than over here. And so this tells me that the field is stronger in this region compared to this region. And we expect that. We, we can understand that, but we'll see more of that in the next video. Okay, and uh, what else can we say about field lines? Well, they cannot cross. And so you will never see field lines do something like this. Mm, that's not possible, yeah? And that is because if this were to happen, and then I go and place a mass over here, this mass would be pretty confused. You'll be like, hmm, do I go here or do I go here? Uh, I'm not sure. And of course, that doesn't happen. The mass always knows where to go, simply towards the larger mass. And uh, lastly, okay, these directions or these arrows that you see is basically the direction of the gravitational force. If I place some mass over there, so if I place the mass over there, then the force on this mass due to gravity will simply in, be in the same direction as the field line.